Mustang Limo. How did this thing come about? The Mustang Limo came about from an idea I had as a kid. I mean, who as a kid doesn't dream of one day being rich enough where you got your own limousine? Well, when I became 30, 35, I realized, you know what? That's probably not gonna happen to me. So the only way I'm gonna get my own limousine is to make it myself. So what I came up with was a $50 Mustang that I had bought as a parts guy. Now this was a car that's gonna be either parted out and be nothing at all, or I was gonna take it and make it into what it is today, which means this car is probably gonna last forever because it's gonna go be passed on in my family. If nothing else, it's probably gonna end up in some sort of museum someplace in the future. Because let's, let's face it, we're just caretakers for the cars we own. We cannot own them forever because unfortunately we go. But the Mustang limo, it's the coolest thing out there. Let me show you some of the features on this thing. Number one, it's a total length of 21 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. Um, it's a V8 car that, that I made it to with a two-piece drive shaft. It's got a Shelby front suspension on it. So when it goes into curves, it doesn't quite have the lean that some longer limos have. Um, came up with my own insignia here. The Fastback Mustangs had Mustang 2 plus 2. Well, I added my own 2 on there since it's a six-passenger car. Mustang 2 plus 2 plus 2. A uh, couple of other things we got. This is from a 69 Mach 1, this little ornament right here. And it went on the roof. So what I did was I took off some of the chrome edging on the inside of it, and it actually lights up. Let me light it up. So now that made for a great coach light because it's Mustang. It's not some goofy looking thing that you'd find on a Lincoln or a Cadillac. It's a Mustang coach light. How much cooler is that? The doors, well, I've always been into the old Lincolns, so the rear doors had to open up suicide style like the old Lincolns. And that's exactly what I did here. I took a whole door jam, set it up on top of the frame that I had made for this thing, made it swing back and forth, before I welded it into place. The inside of the car is basically two rear seats facing one another with a center console and a couple of interior lights from, uh, from some Fastback Mustangs. We got a DVD player back there and a surround sound system, a little bit of a champagne cooler. Um, it's set up like a real limo. I mean, it is a real thing. It's not just some sort of a thing we stretched and, and kind of had some, some things going. But, this is a really cool car. The sunroof, I actually went to the junkyard and cut the whole roof off of a 79 T-Bird and uh, brought it back to the shop, uh, threw the roof uh, um, part up on this thing and then uh, basically grafted it from there. So the opening is not too big and it's not too small. It actually looks like it was made for a Mustang or a roof size uh, this, this length got a two-piece drive shaft in it, like a pickup truck, because the drive shaft is pretty long in it. And it's got, of course, full dual exhaust all the way out the back. Talk about a long exhaust system on this thing. Um, TV antenna, boomerang antenna, a couple of cool uh, radio antennas I threw back there just for the heck of, uh, of the look of it. And um, I tell you what, I use this thing for my kids' proms. I've used it for a few personal weddings. I don't rent it out. We just bring it to car shows and cruise nights and just get all sorts of looks. I went to a prom with my kids and they got out of this car and there were girls all around them going, ah! It was like they were the Beatles or something getting out of this thing. It's such a cool car. So that's the short and the long of the Mustang limo. And uh, keep an eye on my videos. I got a whole lot more that I'm going to show you guys around. Until next time, see you then.